Charleston International Airport IATA, CHS, ICAO, KCHS, FAA LID, CHS, is a joint civil-military airport located in North Charleston, South Carolina. The airport is operated by the Charleston County Aviation Authority under a joint use agreement with Joint Base Charleston. It is South Carolina's largest and busiest airport. In 2017, the airport served just under 4 million passengers in its busiest year on record. The airport is located in North Charleston and is approximately 12 miles 19 kilometers northwest of downtown Charleston. The airport is also home to the Boeing facility that assembles the 787 Dreamliner. History In 1928, the Charleston Airport Corporation was founded and purchased 700 acres of land previously belonging to a mining company. Although privately developed at first, the city of Charleston floated bonds in 1931 to acquire a portion of the site for passenger service. Within ten years, three runways were paved and outfitted with lighting for nighttime operations. In World War II, control of the airfield passed to the United States Army though civilian service was allowed to continue to use the airfield. After the war, the airfield reverted to civilian use for a short time. In 1949, a new passenger terminal was built. During the Korean War, the airfield was reactivated for military use and in 1952, the city of Charleston and the United States Air Force reached an agreement on control of the base and the runways an arrangement that has been renegotiated over time and that continues to this day. In 1979, the civilian portions of the airport were transferred from the city of Charleston to the Charleston County Aviation Authority, which had operated two other airports in the area. The current terminal on the south end of the airport was built in the 1980s on land acquired by Georgia Pacific. In October 2009, Boeing announced that it would build a major plant on 265 acres at the airport as a second final assembly site for its 787 Dreamliner commercial aircraft. The facility began limited operations in July 2011 and rolled out its first completed aircraft in April 2012. Additional facilities to complement aircraft assembly have since been announced by the company. Throughout its history, all three domestic legacy carriers American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and United Airlines and their predecessor companies or affiliates have served Charleston International Airport. Aside from the legacy carriers, Charleston has seen periods of additional air service from other carriers, but prior to 2010, those services were short lived. The airport has had brief periods of international service. In 2001, Air Canada briefly served the airport from Toronto but ended service immediately after the September 11 attacks. Porter Airlines briefly served Charleston with flights to Toronto in 2015. Since 2010, the airport has seen an 83% increase in passenger figures. New services established by Southwest Airlines, JetBlue Airways, and Alaska Airlines during this time along with increased services from the three legacy carriers have contributed to this growth. Today, the airport is the only facility in South Carolina to offer regular flights to all four time zones in the contiguous United States. In October 2018, British Airways announced the commencement of a direct route from London Heathrow for the summer season, flying twice weekly beginning in April 2019. This will become the first scheduled transatlantic flight to operate from Charleston. Facilities and aircraft Airport The airport consists of four general areas, the military area to the west, the airline terminal to the south, the general aviation area to the east, and the Boeing assembly area further to the south. The combined airport area of Charleston International Airport and Charleston Air Force Base covers 2,060 acres 830 hectares and has two runways, 15 33rds, 9,001 feet x 200 feet 2,744 meters x 61 meters and 03, 21, 7,000 feet x 150 feet 2,134 meters x 46 meters. For the 12-month period ending May 31, 2017, the airport had 
with 108,372 aircraft operations, an average of 297 per days, 37% commercial, 27% general aviation, 20% military, and 18% air taxi. In December 2017, there were 69 aircraft based at this airport, 29 single-engine, 12 multi-engine, 22 jet, and 6 helicopter. Joint Base Charleston owns and operates the runways at the airport and has an agreement with the Charleston County Aviation Authority to allow civilian use of the field. General aviation services are operated by the Charleston County Aviation Authority. Boeing South Carolina operates the Boeing Assembly Area. Topic passenger terminal The current airline terminal completed a three-year, $200 million redevelopment project in October 2016 which added five gates and significantly renovated the interior appearance of the facility. The original terminal was built in 1987 and was designed by Howard Needles Tammon and Bergendorf, Davis and Floyd, Inc., and Lucas and Stubbs. Both departures and arrivals are located on the same floor, with the departure area to the east end of the terminal and the arrival area to the west end. Flights depart from two concourses, Concourse A towards the east and Concourse B towards the west. Since 2015, a consolidated TSA security checkpoint is utilized for both concourses. Charleston International Airport is classified as a security level Category I airport by the TSA. The airport is equipped to handle international flights. Concourse A contains five gates is primarily used by Delta Air Lines and Delta Connection, with other airlines occasionally using a gate for overflow. Concourse B contains ten gates and is used by Alaska Airlines, American Airlines, American Eagle, JetBlue Airways, Southwest Airlines, United Airlines and United Express. Concourse B also contains the international arrivals facility when needed. Topic. Airlines and destinations Topic. Passenger Topic. Cargo Topic. Statistics Topic. Airline market share Topic. Top destinations Topic. Annual traffic Topic. Ground transportation Topic. Road Charleston International Airport is located near the interchange of Interstate 26 and Interstate 526 and is accessible from both interstates using International Boulevard and Montague Avenue exits. The airport does offer a free cell phone parking lot for passenger pickups. For short-term and long-term parking, the airport offers surface or garage parking for up to 30 days. Rental cars from major companies are available. The airport completed a rental car pavilion adjacent to the terminal in 2014. Topic: <laughs> Bus. CARTA, the regional mass transit system, serves the airport with two bus routes that operate 7 days a week from 6 a.m. to midnight. Carta Express Route 4, also known as North Area Shuttle Nash Express is an express service to downtown Charleston with stops at the North Charleston Visitors Center and at the Tanger Outlets. Total trip time from the airport to downtown is usually 25 to 35 minutes. As of 2017, a one-way fare is $3.50. Carta Route 11 is a local service that connects the airport to downtown Charleston with several stops along Dorchester Road and Meeting Street in North Charleston. Total trip time from the airport to downtown is usually 50 to 55 minutes. As of 2017, a one-way fare is $1.75. Taxis 
Taxis and shuttles are available from CHS to Charleston and other destinations in the Lowcountry. Fixed rates are set by the Charleston County Aviation Authority for most major destinations. <laughs> Related facilities Charleston Field Boeing South Carolina Topic: Accidents and incidents. On September 11, 1974, Eastern Airlines Flight 212, a flight originating in Charleston and headed to Chicago with a stopover in Charlotte, crashed on approach in dense fog conditions near Douglas Municipal Airport (now Charlotte Douglas International Airport). Of the 78 passengers and four crew members aboard the Douglas DC-9 aircraft, 72 were killed. 